Welcome back to Timez TV. I'm back in the studio and I watched the World of Outlaws show as I built the Maxim uh, in the garage last night and what a show that was. Uh, Tri-State City is a unique place when it comes to wing racing and racing in general. The guys that are good there are always good there. So I thought I would uh, t bring the studio out and talk about what happened last night, why Hobstadt is so different, why uh, you, you had six guys in there that um, had never been in a World Outlaw show. Let's go back to Hobstadt. I've raced Hobstadt a lot, okay? I've raced non-wing sprint cars, uh, midgets, and I've won a couple races there. And I know kind of how to get around there. And one of the things that is always a factor is air. You know, like the sprint cars overheat there because there's just no air in the radiator. You're always up on top of somebody and it's just a paper clip. And so it's hairpin to hairpin. And then you just back the thing in. You actually spin the car out at Hobsot and point it the other way and get going the other way, you know? And so I feel like that's why a lot of guys are good there or, or are not good there because of that. Like I'm pretty good there because I like to back it in. And I mean, back it in, light the tires off. And so I'm pretty good at that. Um, so back to the wing race and you know, <clears throat> last night Brady Bacon picked up his first World of Outlaw victory. That was so cool. Um, you know, it was, I was torn because I'm watching the race and Sheldon's, you know, driving away and then here comes Bacon and Bacon reels him in. And I wanted them both to win. You know, I wanted Bacon to win because uh, that's one of my buddies and it's a non-wing guy. And then, but I wanted Sheldon to win too because, you know, I like, I like Sheldon. So big Hod fan. Um, <clears throat> <sighs> so back to Hobstot. Bacon has a lot of laps at Hobstot with the non-wing. You know, USAC goes there a lot. He's run the midget. And I feel like that's one of the places that you just have to race the track. And the track changes a lot. You know, the track goes through its motions. And knowing what the track might do is part of it, you know. Uh, Brady ran an amazing race. You know, that place is so easy to overdrive. And he didn't overdrive it, um, and he just raced the track where he needed to. He was patient. It's so tough there because um, it's a gladiator ring with all those cars, and the slider is so easy to run. If you get a good drive off of the corner, you just burn a slider if he goes to the top, you know? So it can be tricky as a driver because you got stuff getting thrown at you from every which way, and you got to keep your cool. Well, Brady Bacon's really good at keeping his cool. Um, that That is one of the best all-around racers uh, we have right now. You know, he, he wins non-wing sprint car races, midget races, wing races, silver crown races. I mean, he can kind of do it all. Um, Brady is really good at what he does, so hats off to him. That was pretty cool. Uh, my buddy Matt Hummel working on the car over FK, elbow, always wrenching on that thing. Um, they got a couple new guys. I don't know their name, but... Great job to the team. Uh, getting a World Outlaw win has got to be super special. Beating the the best in the business, uh, you know, it was pretty cool to hear Johnny Gibbs in calling that race and, you know, Bacon coming out on top. So that's my Macho Man. What do you think about the Macho Man thing that he does? Um, I think it's pretty cool, you know, because we need some characters in this. You know, the kids love it and, you know, be you, be yourself, do something different. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Because that place doesn't have a lot of wing speed, I feel like the non-wing guys come in and they do good. You know, they can make their first outlaw show. You had a bunch of first timers. Uh, let's see. You had Justin Grant, first time in a World of Outlaw show, Emerson Axum, Dazen Persley, and Buddy Kofoid. That's kind of funny. Buddy's got plenty of time around there, but he's definitely not uh, a first timer in a wing car for sure. Not that any of those guys are, just the first time in the World Outlaw feature for all those guys. So hats off to those guys. And I really feel like it's just because that place doesn't have a lot of air. And so you really got to hustle the car, okay? You got to run the car beyond its limits. And. I don't know this because I don't race the wing cars a lot, but I have experience and I've, I've won a wing race, you know, and the wing race that I won was at Circle City, which is also a very not wing speed track. So you got to hustle the car, you know, and and at that track, I have my my only 410 wing win. Um, I, won, I won a heat race and a dash at an all-star show. 
you know, so I think that just goes to show you that these small bull rings without wing speed, you know, the non-wing guys can kind of go out there and get their elbows up. This is our backyard, you know, Indiana is our backyard. Um, so we know all these tracks really well. So it's pretty cool to see the, the wing guys uh, come in town and the non-wing guys have a shot, make a show, and then Brady Bacon knocking out a win. I mean, that was so cool. Um, you really, there's not a whole lot of people that could do what he did, you know, winning wing, non-wing, midget, silver crown. Um, really, it's just Larson, you know, like um, he's in a real small group of guys that have won in all these awesome race cars. Uh, you know, Kyle Larson just won a race um, at Eldora in a modified. So, I mean, Kyle has won in everything. Kyle is awesome. That's why... That's why Kyle is running uh, the Indy 500 next year. How cool is that? Leave a comment down below what you think about that. I think he's going to do great. I think, uh, you know, since clausen has been there, he was really our only hope of getting a non-wing, midget, dirt guy, like, at the speedway, you know. Um, so, so excited to see Larson get an opportunity to go to the speedway. Uh, you know, Jimmy Johnson ran really well last year, so... I look to see Larson um, run top 10, potentially run top five. And I honestly think he could put this thing on the podium. I have all my faith in uh, Young Money. Uh, I call him Neo because he's, he's like, uh, he can see the matrix. And, and, you know, so anyways, what else do we got here? <sighs> One thing cool about Bacon is he runs his own team. He uses his connections to make his his deal happen and he he's one of the hardest working guys in the business him his wife you know his wife does an amazing job with shirts and and brady's a business guy you know he's got gene frankoviak who owns some motors and he's got a guy in, in oklahoma that owns that 21 car and and you know he just uses all his friends and connections to go racing and and go do it well i mean He's done the work, you know, he went, you can't just show up to a wing show and expect to go run really well if you don't run the wing cars all the time, you know? And so he's taken that 21 car to the track. They went to the high limit shows. They raced it last year at Eldora and had some success. You know, he's been putting some time in behind the wing, getting comfortable with that car. And so I'm not as surprised that he went down there and picked off a win at Hobstop because he does his work. So speaking of not having a lot of experience and just showing up and trying to make a show, I found a ride over the weekend for the high limit race, which now has moved from Tuesday to Wednesday because the weather's going to be cold. So um, yeah, I'm in the, uh, in the Landon Simon 24 on Tuesday, the high limit race, first time in a wing car, first high limit race of the season. I haven't been in that car I have no laps, and uh, we have to be good right out of the box. So a lot of pressure on old Team Ez, but can't wait. I'm so excited. I love Kokomo. I have a lot of laps at Kokomo, so hopefully, you know, I can just get the job done, get that thing in the show, and get some laps and, you know, build on my wing resume, my wing car career, um, which, you know, I've probably got 20, 25 wing shows in a 410. Picked up a wing win um, at Circle City. Um, I've won a couple heat races, you know, I've had some top three, four finishes and, um, you know, won some 305 races, but not a wing guy, midget guy over here, sprint car guy, YouTuber, <laughs> check out Team S TV. Back to Kyle Larson. So Kyle Larson drives for Hendrix, Bowman crashes the sprint car, big crash, uh, gets hurt. And I read that. Hendrix pulled the plug on anybody racing dirt. So I don't know if that was fake news, if that was real news. Kyle convinced Rick Hendricks that it makes him a better driver on Sunday. And I don't know that he's right, and I don't know that he's wrong, because I think Kyle's awesome one way or another. But um, what do you think? Did Rick Hendricks really pull the plug on letting Bowman and Larson go race dirt? You know, after these, you know, I think... Chase Briscoe got hurt, you know, he hurt his hand in a dirt car, and Bowman, and, you know, Elliot, and, uh, you know, these guys have a lot of money behind them with their sponsorships on the year, and that, that, that money behind them is a contract on them racing for the whole year in that car, so 
I don't blame him for being mad about it, but I also see where Larson's coming from because, um, you know, you only live one life and that life is right now. You can't put it off four or five years because you just never know if four or five years are going to be here. Just off the press, send it till you bend it. Just off the press, send it till you bend it t-shirts. Go get yours at shoptemez.com. I'm gonna work at getting this new light gray shirt online. I bought a couple hundred of them, so I should have your size. Go check it out, shoptemez.com. Working on getting um, everything linked up with my YouTube page, so you can just go down um, in my store on YouTube, but haven't really worked all that out. I'm not very good at all the paperwork side of YouTube, as always. Thanks for watching Team TV. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go check out this onboard from